Hi, I'm Kaylee Hunter Gasparini, and welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. Did you know that the average school teacher in the nearly 300 districts of Massachusetts earns $78,000 a year? The average here in Northampton, only 61,000. Do you see a problem there? The most recent school committee meeting saw teachers bringing this very problem up. Teachers have started to push for a 6% salary increase every year for the next three years before the school budget is due on April 15th. I talked to Ms. Heather Brown, Vice President of Northampton Branch of the Teachers Union. Our union is called the Northampton Association for School Employees, and I am the Vice President of that organization, and we represent um, about 550 people. So what happens every several years is that we negotiate with the school committee for our contract. And we have been talking with the school committee for a couple of months and requesting a, an increase in our salaries. We haven't had salary increases that go along with the rate of inflation or the cost of living in the past 10 to 20 years. So that's why teachers are speaking out at the school committee meeting and explaining their point. I guess one thing uh, that people should know is that, you know, it's not, it's not just about money. Having the stress of, you know, uh, reduced income and rising health care costs and all of those things um, doesn't really help us to do our jobs. I also talked to Ms. Jenny Podell to get another teacher's perspective on the salary increase. I do work about that much of pay gap difference in outside jobs. So I have two outside jobs besides what I do and I work in the summer, which make up the pay gap between this district and other districts. As I was talking to people that I know who aren't a part of the school district, it's just not very well known that the pay gap exists unless you're looking up teacher salaries or interested in it. I think that generally Northampton community is unaware and would be surprised by the results when looking at that pay difference. I don't think we know. If our pay grade could be evened out with surrounding districts, I think overall, of course, it would improve things for me being a teacher here, but it could also improve our ability to hire well-educated and experienced staff. We had to accept that we needed to pay a fair wage and put the person at an appropriate step in order to hire somebody who could adequately fill a, a position here at the school. Though I reached out to the school committee, they did not provide commentary. If you want to put in your two cents about this matter, go to the next meeting Thursday, April 11th at 6.45 in the JFK Community Room. Good luck to all the teachers and happy Friday.